guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I got these heatless one curls. Sorry, I'm so excited. <laughs> why am I so excited? Anyway, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I got these heatless curls using dressing gown strings. <laughs> right, so I've seen this trend going around on TikTok, on Instagram, and I just had to try it. I had to try it out because I love a curly hairstyle me and I always curl my hair when it's straight so I just thought why not try heatless style you know save my hair some damage and these are the results <sighs> like I was shocked when I put them down today <gasps> they're so cute very very happy with the way they came out <laughs> Sorry, I'm so gassed. <laughs> I should have probably waited to calm down a little bit before I recorded this intro, but hey, I cannot. I cannot. Mm. 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 Love it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's get straight into this video. <laughs> so it's been about six weeks since I straightened my hair, and by now I would have washed my hair already. So my hair, all I did today was brush it out and done my method to flatten my roots by using an edge control and tied it up with this head tie. It's been on for about half an hour, so I'm just gonna take it down now. And it's so hot today, guys. Oh, I'm literally melting. So as you can see there, there's quite a lot of dry scalp and dandruff. I don't want this to be falling out on my clothes throughout the day. So I'm just gonna try and reduce the amount of dry scalp that I have or to stop it from flaking even more. So I'm just gonna use some of this hairspray and I'm gonna spray my roots quickly. So what I'm doing is just parting my hair straight back in little sections and then spraying the roots. And this is feeling so amazing on my scalp right now because it's a little bit itchy at this stage and it just really needs to be washed. So yeah, this hairspray is really soothing my scalp. Oh yeah. And then once I spray the whole scalp, I go ahead and part the sections back off into two and I spray a little bit of the hairspray on my ends as well. And then once I finish that, I just comb it through. And now I'm just gonna be parting off my hair into four sections. And then I'm just gonna section it off using my hair clips. So, yeah, so I'm just gonna start off with this back section because I think it's gonna be easier this way. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've just seen it and I'm just winging this tutorial. So I'm using two dressing gown strings. I've seen people just use you know, two and put it down like that. But I'm gonna use four and just, you know, just put it in my hair, like front section and back section like that. And then I'm just gonna tie it up. You'll see, I'm winging this. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of this mousse in my hair. I didn't really wanna use mousse because I felt like it was gonna revert my hair. So I was gonna use a cream, but I'm hoping that if I work fast enough, this is not gonna revert before I put in the dress account string so it should be okay. I'm just gonna go for it. So that's about three or four pumps. It all look fast. <laughs> Brush it very quick. And I'm just gonna use a clip to just pin it up here. So I'm just gonna wrap my hair around it. Here. And I'm just gonna keep taking sections of hair and wrap it around the dressing gown. Flat twist, but I'm not taking any hair with this dressing gown part, this is free. So, grab no hair and keep grabbing hair with the section underneath. <laughs> I can feel my hair reverting. It should be okay. That's done, and then I'm just gonna comb that through. See the ends are reverting already. <laughs> and just twist the end with the dressing gown. So this part, I never actually fought it through. So I'm just going to get the ends, like so, and just curl the dressing gown over on top of it. You know, like with a flexible, you usually bend it back like that. Yeah, so that's what I've done. So yeah, I'm just gonna use, oops. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm just gonna use the hairband to tie that. 
I'm actually gonna tie it right at the ends. I don't want it to crimp my hair. Just like that. And then, moving on to this section. Start at the corner, I forgot to say. Start at the corner. So what I'm basically doing is a flat twist using the dressing gown string as a strand and I'm just wrapping my hair around the dressing gown string and picking up some hair as I go down. So I'm just wrapping the hair around the dressing gown string and then bringing the hair down to the bottom and then I part some more hair off using my index finger and then I add that hair to that section and then wrap it around the dressing gown string and I just continue to do that all the way down. But I'm not picking up any hair at all with the dressing gown string. See, so yeah, I'm just twisting it round over the dressing gown and the dressing gown at the, at the bottom here. And I'm just going to twist my hair around it so that it's at the bottom now. And I just take this finger here and part off some hair to add it to this section. And then twist it round the dressing gown. And I try to make it a bit more secure right at the bottom there so that it doesn't lift away from my head too much and with the ends of my hair i do go ahead and redo them because i want the coils to be a lot more tighter instead of having it loosely wrapped like that at the bottom i want them to be like you know when you're doing a one curl and you gather the hair quite close together so i do go ahead and redo the ends of each of the flat twists to make them coil tighter yeah and that's one side done on to the other side. I forgot to say bye bye to my straight hair. Well, bye bye straight hair. I'll see you in September. And I forgot to mention that they're all being twisted in the same direction. Usually when I curl my hair, I usually curl it away from my face on both sides. But I think it's because I can't really flat twist doing it in the other direction. I just twisted how it felt natural to me. I don't think it will look bad. <laughs> we'll just have to see what comes out tomorrow. Um, so yes, yeah, so I didn't use too much mousse to make my hair too wet. And yeah, just worked as fast as possible so my hair didn't revert. I don't know if I should wear it down or tie them. No, that's not going to work. Put them up. I don't want it to bend my hair. Mm. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Okay, so it kind of dawned on me that my hair is not gonna come out the way I want it to come out. So what I've done here is I've coiled it tighter rather than have it looser because this is gonna come out with a loose curl whereas the top part is gonna come out with a tight curl. So I'm just gonna go around and redo the bottom part. So as you can see, the hair's a lot more shorter now as it would like when you're one curling your hair. It's like short on the wand, so that's the effect that I'm trying to get. So now I'm just going to tie the strings loosely behind my bed. Behind my bed. So now I'm just going to tie the strings loosely behind my head, just so that they're out of the way and loose enough for the sections to just hang. And I'm going to spray some mousse, and apply it to my edges, and then I'm just going to take my edges scarf and put that on from now, and then just put my bonnet just over top like that. So yeah, that's all done, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, wow. Who's a hot one today? Oh my god! Whew. I don't know what I'm gonna do without this fan melting already. Okay. So this is the next day, and my hair should be dry. <laughs> um, I put my makeup on, I've done my edges, and I've just got my scarf on to set the edges. It's a warm day today, so I don't think my edges are gonna last at all. As for how I slept with the strings of my hair, I ended up just taking the strings down and just wrapping them around my head like that. So my plaits are still lying flat, and I just wrapped the excess string over my head. I did the same thing for the other side, like that. Yeah, and then I just put my bonnet on top of that. Yeah, so I just ended up putting up strings like that because it was pulling on the side of my hair and I don't like any sort of tugging on my hair. My head is so sensitive. So yeah, so it was much more comfortable sleeping on my hair like that. And it's a very warm day today and it's gonna be very warm tomorrow, in fact, for the whole week. So I don't know how it's gonna cope with the humidity, but it's okay, I'm gonna wash my hair by the end of the week. 
anyways, let's take these down. There we go. Ooh. <gasps> that is real pretty. Look. God. So yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna gently separate as I go around the string. Try to avoid as much frizz as possible. I think I'm gonna separate them a little bit, but I don't want to cause too much frizz. Oh wow. Look at those curls, guys. Wow. I don't think I should wear a black shirt. Yes. Now you can see the full curls in their glory. Look at that, that looks amazing. I'm so gassed right now, honestly, guys. So I'm going to try and part my hair off without trying to trouble the curls too much. And I'm just fluffing those roots out to merge the sections together. Righty ho. So I've got my hairspray here. It's the ORS Super Hold Spray. And I'm just going to spray it on my flyways just to hold them down a bit. So just set the front here. And then I'm just gonna use my comb to just comb that product through. If I was to do it again, I definitely would blow dry my roots because it's reverted quite a lot at the front and I prefer if it was a bit smoother at the roots. But this is not bad at all, look. Um, I could use some of this spray to hold the curls more, but because I used mousse, I don't think I need it. So I'm not gonna trouble the curls anymore. The humidity is going to have a go at it today anyway, so. <laughs> I don't have any hope in it lasting for longer than a day or two. I'm so gassed right now. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> so yeah, that's the finished results, guys. And I'm so happy with the way they came out. With no heat. No damage. <laughs> But yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed this video or you found it useful, give it a thumbs up. And if it helped you out in any way, leave a comment down below and share it with one of your family members, maybe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.